Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Bazaria, where after chopping off a lizard's tail to prove his uh, death, we now have the ship repaired and have no. to head back there no. at Becca's behest. So she's changed clothes, something a little more um, tasteful. Befitting the temperature. Befitting the temperature. That's a good term for it as well. As Becca now wonders, can she remember Whee! where the boat is? Which she... boat? The boat that we crashed on. There's a dock this way. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> um, wasn't it through the passage, the secret passage? Yes. So well, that was one way out, but I think we're actually allowed out the front door now, aren't we? Because we're not we're not hidden criminals anymore. Yeah, but this room had loads of shiny things in oh, it. Oh, yeah, shiny things, yeah. And that's the main goal of this game, is to look for stuff. Everything that's shiny. <gasps> so there's <gasps> not a single shiny thing. Oh, I'm heartbroken. Heartbroken. Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can, but we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. We got to get some free sailors. Free sailors. We got to Shanghai some sailors. Blim. Go get some more cat souls. Cat souls, cat souls, everybody loves cat souls. We need one for our cat. <laughs> She's evil. But true. She's everything. been taking tons of souls lately. She is. She's the Grim Reaper. She's going to accidentally hit the item cap in a matter of hours, won't she? Accidentally? Completely intentional? Right, this way? Yes. This way. It's been minutes since I played you press, this. If you press like R2, you get the objective marker. That's not the no, one R1 I meant then. to use. Uh, aha. Turn to the grounded ship. How does that help? It tells you where to go, ish. Does it? Well, the grounded ship. Well, you told me that already. This is a question of me remembering. <laughs> that way. That way. Blake Quanza, thank you for the follow. Blim. Thank you for the follow. If we're not getting the soundy notifications, how will I know when to say We, we will not know, but we people's will names will know. appear. So there were comments on tales for the YouTube that said, you know, yeah. the explosion is a bit distracting. And yes, it is, to be honest. But also, I do want to credit people as, you know, following the channel. But of course, you get the visual notification on that, and it's recorded for all time. All time. Or, you know, until the, uh, the internet pops hey, up. Do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Thanks for the jail. I'm going to quickly kill something because... Um, you're antsy for it or you just want to remember the battle Oh, system? I was going to say, I can't actually remember how to do it. You better be so ready. Be... Oh, 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 Find your devour. Me. Hey, I'll stop you. See this? Stop hitting me in the back! Oh One yeah, there's other buttons. I'm gonna uh, get revenge I think I then. Get sort of the gist of it. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull you out the good stuff. When would you put a hat on me? <laughs> oh yeah, when I was messing around in the menu. <laughs> would you like me to take it off? <laughs> you put a hat? No, I don't want a hat on. You didn't want the glasses either, did you? You didn't want anything. Oh, you had to press quite, a different one. Kind of fine with the glasses now. Do you want... da, 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 da. There we go. Back Thank to you. Normal. Thank you. Back to normal. Fun has ended. <laughs> <laughs> Poo. Poo. On a wall. The best kind. I just of remember food. something as well while we were battling. Haven't we just left Magalu behind? Magalu. Well, she can probably fend for herself. It's a bit mean. She's a bit hipster. 
She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. <laughs> if you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. O oh, Empyrean Inominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? Oh, yeah, a demon. demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I Get wasn't off. stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. Hmm. Hold on. siblings had a sort of incesty vibe going on, what? didn't they? They were sort of Lannisterish in their affections. I don't think that's it. Let's incest, go. Incest, incest. Maybe they want to be a sandwich because they're inbred. <laughs> do do do. Are we going back there then to get old Lou face? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you seem to have these quiet moments, hun. <laughs> I'm trying to wonder what goes through your head. <laughs> I verbalise it. You don't have to wonder. That's the wonderful thing about me. I just say it. Do <laughs> do. Right then. Let's go chase down Flynn's evil sister. Flynn. Is that his name, was it? That's not his name. But Tells fans will get what I mean. I was thinking I'm sure it was something else. Oh, another cat soul! We might be able to get more hats. There's nothing wrong with loving your dear brother. <laughs> there is. When it gets physical, physical. <laughs> I'm punching. <laughs> no, that's fine. Dee -dee -dee. Healthy sparring. I like how Becca just speaks her mind. Oh, um, what's going on now? There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch? 
It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. I just realized something, Becca. But let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. You were very efficient in heading to Dial then. I just realized that uh, you've actually put on a disguise since the last time she's seen you. Yeah, she'll never know it's me. I should have an eye patch as well, they're foolproof. I liked the incest is wincest comment. <laughs> it's funny how, uh, because of Game of Thrones, weirdly in pop culture it's become way more acceptable. <laughs> Literally. I don't know if it has, I think that's something that they're always teased for. Yeah, but more, now, more des now, now more or less later on, people are kind of... I don't think everyone's of, uh, gone like, oh... It's not, oh, this I've is great watched... now, we can all go do it. There's, no, I'm not, not saying that. It's against the law for reasons, like biological reasons. <laughs> what I'm saying is uh, people have kind of went, meh, now, over it. As a plot thing in it. It's like, eh. Yeah, they, they do that. Your kids will turn out like Joffrey crazy. Yeah. Well, no, it was only one third of your kids will turn out crazy. Because of it, it's just kind of turned out that way. You've got to skip, I think, too. before you see Dial. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look. You're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. Yeah. All right, one last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure, sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know. After you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. Well, it doesn't get rid of the relevance of the, uh, the advice. Just because he killed your brother and all. But still. Meow. I knew you were going to go for shinies. <laughs> I knew you were going to go for shinies. Things. It's right. I haven't seen Game of Thrones. I I can get put off things that are super popular as well, so I can understand not wanting to jump on that one. Right then, Dial. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, <sighs> Luffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. 
What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <laughs> no, Lapiset! No! Listen to me! Artorius is... He's going to... <laughs> Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. Do, do, do. Oh no, the shiny's respawned! Oh my god! Oh, only get one. <laughs> I'm being very well behaved. If it was just me playing, I'd cut be going scene. round and round. Cut scene. Circle. Shows you how many cutscenes there are. Stuff just respawning round us while we wait. By the look of it, literally slept there. Doo -doo, We're tired. Doo -doo, doo -doo. We should probably save when we hit save point, just because we know how hard the battles are now after facing the uh, red alert bat. Red alert. That was a higher level than us. Red alert. Hi, Dial. Dial it up Sleep a notch. Well. Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine, since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. Needs more salt. Is this more the case that she eats through her hand? She actually not only eats through her hand, but she tastes through her hand. And poops through her foot. Probably. They haven't gone into that. I don't yeah. know if there is. Do you have any kind of demon poo-poos afterwards, I wonder? Hmm. Well, it's covered by her shoes. You wouldn't know. <laughs> She's actually got a false heel Wee. and it just flops open. Little compartment. And you can leave a trail for others to follow. <laughs> That's why she's kicking people so much. She's getting pigs say no because you, because the poo. Who goes there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. Battle, run away! <laughs> Be back to do it. Not even worth my time. Well, they really weren't, were they? Oh, what's all this? <laughs> I've forgotten all the stuff we read before. Martial arts, reduced SG cards, hidden arts, increased chance to inflict status effects. Oh, my yeah. cards, increased dagger time. Break soul, increased damage. The break soul effect is especially large for me. Mr. God, after multiple break souls, will deal devastating amounts of damage. Okay. I'm putting you in charge of strategy. Something's hissing at us. Me. You know, having auto food on probably. Oh, I, know, I know you're trying to grind up level as well, but grind up the food level. The townspeople are gone. Can I buy more I food? I was right. It's a trap. It's they a trap. ate the townspeople. It's a trap. Ah. They exercised them. <gasps> they took him to see Mr. Motivator because that's what exercising is, yeah. No one here will know who that is. No one. <laughs> two years old. They're all too young and not from Britain. <laughs> We're barely old enough to know who he is. Seven of them here are older than me. Well, look who actually...
actually showed up to rescue me. Oh, you're more of a softy than I ever gave you credit for, demon lady. You're here. You're the demon that escaped the island? What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar. You will pay for that. Slowly. And what about fast? <laughs> Come and face me then, exorcist. I'm not letting the cast the cast. I've got a job now! Where have his left arm? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to kill the rapier orderly and you're pausing the game. I'm gonna pause the game at random. Ah, don't poke me. I'm not gonna let him cast. Go <laughs> on, you, you. Okay, you just, you just kill everyone else. A pair of demons should be simple for you. Take that! Take that! Oh, he's gonna cast spells! No, he's not. He's gonna get a butt kicking. I missed. I had a trap in the ground. This guy's last a lot longer, to be honest. Why do all exorcists go? I'll spam the same attack. Oh, why am I getting hit? Let me hang in there, Velvet. She's killing everyone. See this? Is there water come from two? Got you. Get you in the face. Swallow that. You got the power. Why are we tired? It's easy. I admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work. <sighs> Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. <sighs> well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our store is a flamestone! <laughs> Rokuro! I'm with you! Aren't you forgetting someone? What are you all doing? After them! Lady Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies, put out the fires at once! Time to run away! Move it! We're ready to set sail! I won't let you escape! Never! I think we might have to fight them. Do we kill the small kids first? I'm a demon. Spare me your sermons, then you can pay Zero me. impact? That sounds rubbish! Energy. Now I've got a thing around me. You keep doing that. Did you kill a kid? Yes. Meaning. I think. I think I'll put a trap down. Poor Lapiset. Oh, he's not Lapiset, but you know what I mean. The one that looks like Lapiset. Hey, hold up! Oh, see this? 
spam, 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 no, 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 what's with the tag of ah! toxic? Ah! No! <laughs> Crap! Can I get who on it? No, we got him. We win! We win! Mistress Praetor Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two! The kid's gonna blow himself up! <laughs> to think you were a demon! The crybaby exorcist? I wasn't crying! Two praetors. Not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> ah! Now! Bavash. Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helaviz is no more! Curse you! Curse you! Such ghastly demons! The Abbey, no, Lord Artorius himself must be informed! That all took place though because they wanted to attack us. We learned a load of stuff. Capability versus demi-humans, 8%! Well, the town was sort of collateral to that though, don't you feel? Yeah, it was collateral <laughs> damage. It's their Oops. fault, not our fault. Oh, oh dear. Can we just kidnapped the kid. I like the um the denial moment. I like the moment when she just kicked the kid in the face. Yes, that's what Boot I meant. To the head. I've got a ball. I'm gonna blow myself. Kick. <laughs> Spell done. The Paladin's Ventite Soul Charge. Guard continues you for 1.5 seconds to regain 30 SG1 Souls worth. Nice. What? Some enemies increase the strength of certain other enemies present on the battlefield. This effect is called Paralink. You can break Paralinks by defeating the appropriate enemies. Paralinks often appear on reinforcements, so don't estimate your foes, even if they are low level. I imagine she was Paralinked to the kids, so when we knocked out the kids... Yes. She got weaker. Except she kept targeting us with, like, laser spells. <laughs> Blizzard ice. Well, we're amazing. Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> it's a bit of a poor kid moment. He's a well-behaved child. We should make them all like that. <laughs> Do what you're told. Or a boot to the head. <laughs> Friendly Becca. If you work in retail, I thought I wanted to be understand. a parent with you. <laughs> <laughs> now I think it's an even better idea. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. If you work in retail, you understand the, the importance of a, a well-behaved child. Right. What do you want? Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. 
I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Magilu's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel! I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. Aww, you don't need to. She's just preppy is all. Preppy. Pre 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 don't like that word. Preppy. Our this destination is, is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... What? <laughs> Something. Something. You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Yeah.